Hi friends! I have new ink! So, making a swatching video. Heck yeah! I have my usual tools, this glass dip pen, um, my uh, dip pen. What is this? Is this a zero G? Well, whatever. It's a pen. And this, uh, Prince and Select Round in size 8, which I have wetted and am drying. So, should we go in order that I received them or order that I ordered them? You can't answer that because this video will be up. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is this Kiwi Inks. Tre Colori Gold Sheen Violet. Um, it's worth noting that these usually come with a shimmer, and I just didn't get the shimmer in it. And this is the actual ink here. It's my Kiwi inks. Did I say that? I'm still gonna like roll it a little. Now we will bear with me because it's been a while. I'm really excited for this. Now, how do I do these again? My dip nib is behaving itself, but I think I'm going to need more water. Oh, usually I swatch in this thing too, don't I? That's kind of a just lately I've been doing that. Is it empty page? Just this big notebook. This is very full, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. Oh man, I want a glass of that. Ooh. Heavens, y'all, I'm in love. Look at that water. Definitely have to get another container of water. Pause. I tried really hard to put everything back where it was so it would be like no continuity errors and then the camera fell off. <laughs> oh well. It gave everything a chance to dry. Next up is Glamorous Peacock, and this one has some shimmer in it. So give it a good shake.
peacock. So what you really need is two water dishes. One to like really clean. And then the next to get it wet. Okay, now we gotta cover it. I have this nightmare that one of these days I'm gonna forget to like put the cap back on before shaking it to redisperse the shimmer. So this shimmer settles pretty quickly. We'll roll it. I just got a message from my friend and boss asking if I made it home. Yes, I did. In fact, I'm playing with ink. Can't talk now. Inky. Oh, well, that one hung around in the pen. Now my clean water is blue in the pen. The brush, Maria? Yes, also it hung around in the brush. I can tell the difference. Who says I can't? Ugh, and then I didn't put any on the paper. <sighs> Bananas. Okay. And the third ink I got... This one also has a fair amount of shimmer. Nebula Space Kitty. This isn't gonna be a long name to write. Do you think we can do two lines? Let's see. We'll make it work. This Y is poopy, but you know what? It's good enough. The word kiwi and ink no longer seem like words to me. Okay, now we're gonna close it and shake it again. You know the drill. So the reason I'm doing this like right now is because it's June 1st and I'm gonna do 30 inks 30 days and I wanna use these inks, but I also like to swatch my inks before I use them. I know I'm becoming a weirdo. 
a fountain pen weirdo. It's a special brand of weirdo. This pen that I thought I wasn't going to get until like the end of this month, June. I'm getting like tomorrow. It came from uh, Italy. And it's like, it shipped out like, I don't know, yesterday or something. Maybe the day before yesterday. So I think... might be one of the next inks. Oh, Maria! Gosh darn it, friends, she did it again. She did it again. Forgot to swatch on the other paper. With either thing. See, now that water stays mostly clear. That's good. That's basically to wet the brush. Okay. Go there. We got to move this closer. Yeah. Oh, glorious, glorious. What, what are we doing? Oh, okay. Then, I think somehow, like, I have less space on the table than normal. It, it's almost as though it's been a while. Then we have Porth Kerno. Porth Kerno, uh, this is from Pure Pins. They're a Welsh uh, company. Bottled in Wales. Um, and Perth Corno is a town in England, actually. Cornwall. That's the south west part of England. It's not actually the Welsh name of the town, though. The, or, excuse me, the Corn, Cornish name. Corn, Cornwall used to have its own, or still does have its own language, but it's mostly, like, very few people speak it. Versus Wales, where lots of people speak it, I think. So the reason I got this ink is that I wanted... Something that would go in my new Twisby Diamond 580. And this one looked like it'd be really light, but not the same as, say, Lamy Turquoise. I don't know why I thought that. Pictures. And ultimately, does it matter? I love the color blue, especially sort of tealy blues. So I'm going to love this. This feels like it's maybe not the most lubricated of inks. I'm not sure. There's some really nice shading happening there. And then the last one is also from Pure Pens in um, Wales. And this is their special... Platinum Jubilee color. So the queen has been the queen now for 70 years this year. So this is platinum purple. And it is... Like, basically, I'm amassing a collection of the same color of ink. Um, <laughs> so, just...
kind of going uphill. So I have room for that pee. Descender. Pee descender sounds like, oh, you know what, y'all? You know what I forgot to do? You know it. You know it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I forgot to do the swatch on the other paper. Dear Maria, you suck. Sometimes you can remember. So this is not the same color as that other one. Thank goodness. Um, this rag has been used for watercolor. <laughs> for the record, that's what you're seeing coming off of my fingers. This is all the other. Cute. I'm gonna get something else. Put a little extra up top. Watch on the paper. Did it. Okay, this is such a glorious color. NGL. War E S. Okay. Now. Which ones did we mess up and not do on the paper? We didn't do this one. Or this one. Remember, shake your yoo-hoo. Not sponsored. All opinions of my own. It turns out I don't probably have to say that unless I'm talking about games, but... All opinions are my own no matter what I'm talking about, you know? Okay, move back to improve focus. Thanks, phone. So here we are. We've got, uh, most of these are not dry. Most of these, well. Let's take a look at this. This is the Kiwi ink you can read. Look, Tricolori. Look at that gold violet. Hmm, friends, could this be? And then we have it. There. My light situation isn't phenomenal. We're getting over it though. Glamorous peacock. You can see that shimmer up there, I think. It's a, I don't know, gold, teal? Nebula Space Kitty. Holy cow. I had a plan for what I was going to do with this, but I... I think I have to rethink it. And actually, in the letter, you can see it. And then here. So. That's also Nebula Space Kitty. <laughs> this isn't dry yet, but that's the glamorous peacock. And here we have Porthkerno. Platinum purple. It 
So this kind of wants to sheen. Not a lot though, but you can see it's not the same. This is a redder purple. So it's not dry yet, but we're getting the faintest hint of a sheen around the edge there. And then Perth kernel. I'm loving how this looks. This is showing up uh, as all with all teals, far more blue. This is, if you've ever seen a picture of like the Bahamas or some Caribbean, I or Caribbean, yeah, whatever, some tropical island, and you've seen the beach and they show like the water and it's that perfect shade of like green, blue clearness. That's what this color is. Anyway, and in fact, I think that's what it's supposed to represent is the coast there. That's my guess. So here's my five new inks. They will make an appearance in 30 inks, 30 days, assuming I go forward with that. So if you want to make a suggestion for which one I use first, feel free. Um, there's a good chance I will have already made uh, day two the video before you see this one so don't feel bad because maybe I'll actually have listened to you and maybe I, I just am going off my own opinion because all opinions my own uh anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed